So, we have completed projectile that is motion in a plane. Now, we are going to do some examples related to motion in a plane. Let us take first example. A particle starts from the origin at t is equal to 0 with a velocity of 10 j meter per second and moves in x y plane with constant acceleration of 8 i cap plus 2 j meter per second square. At what time in the x coordinate of the particle 16 meter? What is the y coordinate of the particle at that time? And what is the speed of the particle at that time? So, actually you have to calculate at what time x coordinate of the particle is 16 meters. So, first we will calculate this. So, now see first what are given in question. You are given initial velocity along y axis. So, you can write here u x is equal to 0 and u y is equal to 10 meter per second. See I have written u y because it is here 10 j meter per second. There is no velocity along x axis at time t equal to 0. So, I have written u x is equal to 0. Now, we can take acceleration a is this much a is equal to 8 i cap plus 2 j cap. So, we can write a x is equal to 8 meter per second square and a y is equal to 2 meter per second square. So, I have taken acceleration along x axis as well as y axis. Now, go for the first part at what time in the x coordinate of the particle 16 meter you are given x is equal to 16 meter. We can apply this equation for x coordinate u x t plus half a x t square equation for the x coordinate this is 16 is equal to 0 into t plus half into 8 t square. So, this part is 0, this is here 4 and is here 16. By solving it is here, we can get t is equal to 2 second. It means at t is equal to 2 second, x coordinate is 16 meter. This is the first part. Now, go for the another part of this question. Another part is here, what is the y coordinate of the particle at that time? It means what is the y coordinate at the time of 2 second? So, now we will go for the next part. You know u y, we have already calculated t is equal to 2 seconds. So, we can write y is equal to u y t plus half a y t square that is here 10 into 2 plus half into 2 t square that is 2 square that is a 4. So, here you can write 24 meter. So, y coordinate of the particle at t is equal to 2 second is 24 meter. Now, we have to calculate what is the velocity at t is equal to 2 seconds. Since it is motion in a plane, so it will have two velocities v x as well as v y. So, first we can calculate v x is equal to u x plus a x t. So, it is here 0 plus 8 into 2 that is 16 meter per second. Similarly, v y is equal to 10 plus 2 into 2 is equal to 14 meter per second. So, body has two velocities v x and v y. So, now we can calculate resultant velocity. Resultant velocity will be coming v is equal to under root of v x square plus v y square. If you put these two values and solve it, you will be getting approximately 21.26 meter per second by putting the 16 over here and 14 over here. So, this was an example related to motion in a plane, where you have to calculate the y coordinate, x coordinate, time as well as the velocity at any given time that was at t equal to 2 seconds. Now, see in this example, a cricketer can throw a ball to a maximum horizontal distance of 100 meter. With the same speed, how high above the ground can the cricketer throw the same ball? Now, see in this question, a cricketer can throw a ball to a maximum horizontal distance of 100. R max is equal to given to you 100 meter. This is a maximum horizontal range. Now, you can apply for the formula for the maximum horizontal range. 
there was a condition for maximum horizontal range theta was 45 degree you know this formula r maximum is equal to u is square sin is sin 2 into 45 divided by g that will be here u is square upon g is equal to 100 meter it is given to you so see here there is a u is square sin 2 theta upon g that is the formula for the horizontal range for the maximum horizontal range i have taken theta is equal to 45 now we have to see here with the same speed how high above the ground can the ball throw initially he was throwing a, as a like this is here and now he has to throw the ball like this so how high above the surface of the ground can he throw the ball with the same speed for that what we can do here just we can take this formula v square is equal to u square minus 2 g h vertical motion so i have assumed g downward because g is acting downward so it is taken as negative at the maximum height v is equal to 0 so u is square minus 2 g h so you can write h is equal to u is square upon 2 g already we have calculated u square upon 2 g that is 100 meter so you can write 100 by 2 is equal to 50 meter because u was given same that is why i have used this step so you have calculated here the maximum height when horizontal range was given to you now let us go for the another example now here see two bodies are thrown with the same initial velocity at angle theta and 90 minus theta with the horizontal what will be the ratio of maximum height attained by them and horizontal ranges suppose you have taken like this point is here this is x axis this is y axis i have taken two projectile one is thrown with the angle theta like this another is thrown with the 90 minus theta like this so here you have to find out the ratio of maximum height attained by these two bodies and the ratio of horizontal ranges of ranges covered by these two bodies so now see here in this case you are given two angles you know the formula for height u is square sin is square theta upon 2g for first one you can take h1 is equal to u square sin square theta upon 2g and h2 you can take u square sin square 90 minus theta upon 2g this can be written u square cos square theta upon 2g now you divide these two h1 by h2 so h1 by h2 is equal to when you divide it here u square by 2g here is also the same thing sin square by cos square that you will be getting tan square theta so the ratio of two heights attained by the two projectiles which have the angle theta and 90 minus theta with the x axis is this tan square theta for the horizontal range we know the formula r is equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g so we can write r1 is equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g for the first angle for the second we can write r2 is equal to u square sin 2 into 90 minus theta upon g that will be here u square sin 180 minus 2 theta upon g which is equal to u square sin 2 theta divided by g so see here r1 this equation see this r2 both are equal so obviously you will be getting r1 upon r2 is equal to 1 that means r1 equal to r2 so when the two projectiles are thrown projected with the same speed with the angle of theta and 90 minus theta with the horizontal with the x axis then both the projectile will have the same horizontal range but height attained are different now see in this example a body is thrown horizontally from the top of a tower and strikes the ground after 3 seconds at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal 
find the distance find the height of the tower and the speed with which the body was projected see here in this case question is something like this suppose this is a tower now we can take this is x axis this is y axis suppose at time t equal to 0 body is over here and body is projected like this and it will follow the path something is here due to gravity due to acceleration due to gravity now when the body is projected to this side it has only horizontal velocity so now for initial velocity i am using u and final velocity i am using v suppose it is thrown this side so initial velocity is u so we can write at t equal to 0 u x is equal to u and u y is equal to 0 because it is projected horizontally so horizontal velocity is u and vertical velocity is 0 but you can write also a y is equal to minus g downward i have taken negative so a y is equal to minus g and g is given to you 9.8 meter per second square suppose this height is h so first we have to calculate what is the height of the tower and the time taken by the body to reach the ground is t equal to we can take here 3 seconds so now see we can write y is equal to u y t plus half a y t square we can write minus h is equal to 0 into t plus half minus 9.8 into 3 square if you solve this equation you will be getting h is equal to 44.1 meter so this height is given to you 44.1 meter now go for the velocity what was the initial velocity but you have been given in the question when the body hits the ground it makes an angle of 45 degree with the x axis so for this i will take another step so now see when the body hits the ground it has got velocity like this this axis angle is 45 degree this is x axis and this is y axis we know tan 45 is equal to v y upon v x so, tan 45 is 1 so we can write v y is equal to v x v x remains always equal to u only because there is no horizontal acceleration so if you calculate only vertical component you can get horizontal velocity which will be equal to the vertical component so now we can write v y is equal to u y plus a y into t that is downside so we can write minus v y is equal to 0 minus 9.8 into 3 that is v y is equal to 29.4 meter per second and this v y is equal to v x and which is equal to v x is equal to we can write here v x is equal to u because horizontal component of velocity does not change with the time so by this way you can get the initial velocity as well as height now say in this example a football is kicked at an angle of 37 degree with the velocity of 20 meter per second calculate the maximum height attained the time of flight and how far away it hits the ground S see imagine situation is something like that if this is a ground a football is kicked from here this is making an angle of 37 degree and it is coming and hitting the ground so you have to find out how much time it has taken to reach to this point what is this height and how much this distance or the horizontal range but here 37 you need the way to find the value of 37 so just i'll give you a clue for that if you have taken a triangle like this this is 3 4 and this is 37 and this is 5 now you can get all trigonometric ratios for 37 and this we can take as a 53 and this is 90 so now we will calculate first the time of calculate the maximum height attained so first one h is equal to u square sin square theta upon 2g u is initial spot a uh, velocity i have assumed so we can take u is given to you 20 so 20 is square sin square theta sin theta is equal to 3 by 5 3 by 5 square divided by 2 into 9.8 
value of g I have taken 9.8 meter per second square. If you solve it, you will be getting 7.35 meter. So, on solving this, you can get this is the maximum height attained. Similarly, you can calculate time of flight. So, t is equal to 2 u sin theta upon g. So, 2 into 20 into 3 upon 5 divided by 9.8 and you will be getting here 2.45 seconds. This is the time of flight. Now, after calculating time of flight, you can calculate maximum or this horizontal range. What is the formula for horizontal range? We can take r is equal to r is equal to u square sin 2 theta upon g and this we can write u square twice of sin theta cos theta upon g put all the values like 20 square sin 37 is that is 2 that is sin 37 3 by 5 into 4 by 5 into 9.8 by putting all these values and solving it you can get the value that is 39.2 meter. So, just I have used the formula given in the book and already which I have discussed and applied the formula and you have got all the parameters of a projectile.